We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence with thanksgiving. And into your course with praise. Oh God, we thank you. Just for who, because of who you are. Not because of what you've done, but because of who you are. You deserve all praise and all glory and all honor. Father, we invite your spirit to come into this place today. Move, Lord Jesus. We pray that you would touch each and every one of us this here. And oh God, if we have any ailments that's going to hinder us, Lord Jesus, but what's for you and from hearing your word, we pray that you would remove them now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, there's any spirit in him that's not like you, not of you. We cast them out of this right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for every soul that's in this building today. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you give us peace and joy through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Lord, every name that you heard called on that prayer list, you know every situation. You know all about it. Because you said that even our hands are not together in numbers. So you know everything about us. You know what's in our heart, what's in our mind. And we are to move in those situations today according to your will. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the choir, the ushers, the musicians, and every person here, Lord Jesus, that's going to take part in this service today. Anoint them, Lord Jesus, with your spirit. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the war in Ukraine. We pray that you would give them comfort and peace. We pray that you would send the battle into our midst, into this church, into our hearts, and into our minds. We pray for every man who's out today that lifts up your name. Oh, God, give them the strength, give them the peace, give them the word that we need today. We thank you, and we bless you, and we do ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Thank you, Reverend John, for that. For well, I received of the Lord that which all sides of the you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had saw, saying that this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do he is all finished you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. And so the scripture unfolds that he took. Let us pray. Lord God, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus yes. for allowing us uh, another opportunity to celebrate your body and your blood. Father, as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we ask that their uses be transformed from a common use to a spiritual use. The bread for the building blocks of our spiritual bodies. The cup, symbolic of the blood that flows from Emmanuel's hands. Yes. And then God, yes. before we consume it, we ought to have a moment of self-examination. God, from the top of our head down to the soles of our feet, yes. whatever you find there, that, that, that will not be pleasing in your sight, yes. ask you to move. Somebody say right now, right now. in the name of Jesus. Name Somebody of say, come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. And if you do this for us, God, everything. We'll be all right. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. After the same manner, he took this bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he commanded them to eat. And they all ate together. Let us eat together. Look like some of y'all are eating already. Okay. <laughs> After the same manner, also, he took the cup when he had supper. And he commanded that to drink ye all, be it everyone. Let us all drink together. This story unfolds that they, when they sang a hymn and they went out to the Mount of Olives and said that we no longer have Mount of Olives, but we can always sing a 
song to each other. How about this thing and thank you, Lord? Y'all feel it? Y'all feel it?
We need to understand what this thing is. Yeah. Now, Brother John, I, I heard it said in some churches once a month. I was growing up, we had to get it every Sunday. Every Sunday, even in the funeral. It's called a funeral mass. Now, it comes in many days. The Lord's Supper, the table of the Lord, the communion, the breaking of bread, the Eucharist, all kinds of things for In our scripture lesson this morning, we discover that it just didn't happen. It had to be prepared. There was a lot to do. According to Luke chapter 22, Peter and John were chosen to make this preparation. They needed a place. A place prepared with prayer and blessing and all the rest of the room. Yeah. They need to lay down what I blemish. It has been purpose and been inspected by the people. They just couldn't serve any old kind of meat. And I know when I was growing up, it was always the page of a poem that got the axe. We kept the healthy one. And so we can have more help or all. But we chop that other one head right off and prepare our food. And then, once that plan was perfect, it was slaughtered. His blood was poured out on the altar. After the skin, the fat, kick, his liver, and tail was out of the And then it was roasted on the altar. Yeah. Then it was roasted with two schools of pomegranate. And a, a pomegranate would be used in it. The form of cross. Uh-huh. Somebody said that. The cross was placed in the ground, but not all the ground and roasted. And, and this was all kind of separation. And it was the same way in the church today. In order to maximize the worship experience, you need to get prepared. Oh, that's the name of the We need to be prepared. We need to be prepared. We need to be prepared. When you think about how good God has been to you, nobody can have to pop you up. Oh, 
And they use that to do everything. And then, and then they give it to the salt and give it to the guests. And, 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 and they teach it, why y'all not going to me? Why y'all going to betray me? Now y'all come here to make the disciples. And then when I think about special, talking about special names now, how many of y'all got a friend named Benedict? No, you know why? Because Benedict Arnold was a traitor. How many of y'all named y'all a friend of Judas? Huh? No, because Judas was a traitor. How many of y'all named y'all a friend of Saul? Because that's my great name. My daddy's name. My son's name. <laughs> and my name. But at the time, uh, Jesus sent Judas away. He said, 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 he The Lord was forced to accept the offer of betrayal of a traitor. A traitor from, from, from men that were being picked by him. A traitor from men that had walked with him for three young long years. And, and to make matters worse, they did what they were doing to Peter Silver. Every time somebody talks to me, 30th, and they say, I'm going to go. Keep it. Keep it. We we do this cup in this wine to commemorate that special occasion. Because as Jesus was getting ready to die, he wanted to give us something to remember. Something to lock it in. It's just not to eat a little piece of bread and drink a little juice. The bread was to be offered to a stranger. And people should not be sent away without giving them bread. It's called over communion. First Sunday of each month, we celebrate the Lord's broken body because He is the bread of life. He is the source of the substance of life. Those who eat His bread are bound for Him. There's a cup. And, and even though the cup at that time resembled a earthenware, throughout the Bible, the cup served many symbols. It's the cup of portion reflect the conditions of one's life. The cup of purity and trembling, the cup of consolation, the cup of devils, the cup of wrath, the cup of death, the cup of blessing, and the cup of salvation. And so as I prepare to take my seat, I want to remind you that when you receive the bread and bread of the Lord, for Jesus it was a cup of death, but for me it's a cup of life. For Jesus was a cup of suffering, but for me a cup of salvation. For Jesus was a cup of pain, but me a cup of profit. Jesus was a cup of agony, me a cup of association. Jesus was a cup of humility, me a cup of hope. For Jesus was a cup of beauty, but for me a cup of believing. And, and look, as I eat the bread and I drink the cup, let me tell you what I eat. Now, I don't know what you did, but, but I get healing. I get security. I get hope. I get help. When I, when I eat the bread and drink the cup, I receive great life. I receive joy. I receive power. I receive deliverance. I, I receive redemption. And not only that, but every time I drink the cup. And, 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 and
So when you don't get upset, because yeah. anybody loves this piece of bread, they come. <laughs> <laughs> and a little wine. And every now and then, bread don't taste right. But the bottom line is called in the syphilis. Somebody say syphilis. Amen. Now we're going to try something. Um, play the one without the new instrument. Yeah. And if y'all say just one verse, we're going to go home. Okay, now I'm watching y'all. You know, especially the Duncan fellow. Both now and forever. Oh. 